Well, as promised, I will now show you how I trim plates. And if you look, this is made by the rod and restand method. So the first step I do is I trim the outside like this to make the foot very, very uniform. What I'll do next is I use a center button for printing. So I'm gonna carve a center button that is like this. Then I'm gonna carve this outer foot like this. And now here's where the thing really shines. I'm using this tool to cut grooves of a, the appropriate depth right here and here. And what I've just done is I've carved away all the excess clay and all the grooves are the same width. So I'm using this tool to, to cut just down to the bottom of the valley here and here. As soon as I reach the bottoms of the valleys, this plate is now trimmed. All I'm going to do is round these. So I cut bevels, bevels, and I'll cut a bevel here, right here, and one here, and one there. The final step is to use this tool again. We're going to polish these. Here's the polish. and the plate is trimmed. If you think about it, what happens, if you want to look across here, you can see that the advantage to having used the rod and restand method is you can see this valley here is identical thickness everywhere, and I know exactly how deep it's cut because when I'm cutting to the bottom of the valleys, and once they've disappeared, it's uniform in thickness.